Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're having a great week so far. Hope you had a great day betting on Monday. Hopefully it's a, it was a positive day for you. Hopefully today's another positive way, day as well. Before we get started, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. And I've said this in my other videos and I'll make it quick. This is the last month of my free VIP service starting April 1st. I will be starting a Patreon, which will have my premium pick service on there. It's going to be super cheap. I'm going to figure out a price, but it's going to be very, very, very cheap. And yeah, support the channel. And um, yeah, so go ahead and get in on this last month of VIP picks. I've been positive pretty much every week. I've only had one bad week this entire year so far. So I'm definitely positive for the year by a lot. So having a great season so far. So yeah, before I get into it, go ahead, like, and subscribe down below. You guys have been awesome. And yeah, let's get right into it. There's there's definitely a good bit of games on um, Tuesday, but I only picked the important games that actually matter and have meeting. This is about the last week of NCAA before um, conference tournament play starts. I know some of the lower seeds the tournament play has already started, but for the main power conferences, teams are on their last game or two, so... These games are pretty important and I picked some of these out. So we're going to start with the Baylor Bears. First, the West Virginia Mountaineers. Baylor 18 and 1, 13 and 6 against the spread. West Virginia 17 and 6, 13 and 10 against the spread. Baylor opening up as four point favorites. West Virginia plus four with the over under at 149 and a half. Last 10 meetings head to head, West Virginia is up six to four. They're also 6-4 and four against the spread in those 10 meetings. Baylor, 9-1 in their last 10. You know, they were one of the last undefeated teams left in college basketball. A, a tough loss to Kansas just a few days ago, 71-58 to to ruin their perfect season. West Virginia, 8-2 and two in their last 10. It's going to be a, such a great matchup. Baylor, 13-6 and six against the spread in their last 19. You know, 18 and 1 in their last 19. I mean, an amazing Baylor team. They just had a tough loss against Kansas. It's because they had a lot of games canceled, too. You know, don't want to make too many excuses, but they played on the 23rd, had a four day period before Kansas. Then before that, they were out for 20 days. So who knows? Maybe that had something to do with it. I would imagine it did. But West Virginia, 5 and 1 against the spread in their last six, 6 and 1 in their last seven. You know, the overs hit in seven of their last nine games. I do like the over at 149.5. I think it's a high scoring game. I like Baylor to bounce back here. I think that they're definitely a, w a better team than West Virginia. Should be a close game, though, but I like Baylor minus four. I expect the lines to line to change about a point or two in like both directions throughout the day. So I like Baylor to, Baylor to bounce back here in this one. Next matchup, we have the Auburn Tigers versus the Alabama Crimson Tide. Auburn 12 and 13, 11 and 11 and 3 against the spread. Alabama 19 and 6, 13, 11 and 1 against the spread. Bama opening up as 10 and a half point favorites with the over under at 157. Last 10 meetings head to head, Auburn 6 and 4, 5, 4 and 1 against the spread in those 10 meetings. Last 10 meetings overall for Auburn, they are 4 and 6 in their last 10. Bama seven and three in their last ten. Auburn two two and six in their last eight. You know the overs hit in four of Auburn's last five games on the road. Bama just one and five against the spread in their last six games. Fifteen and three in their last eighteen. Nine and zero oh in their last nine games at, at home. Um. Yeah, you know Auburn coming off a very you know, pretty impressive win against Tennessee. Um, I don't. I'm not sure if they're gonna make a, the tournament this year, but they are fighting for probably their bubble lives and fighting for you know to do good in the SEC tournament. I like Auburn plus ten and a half here. I think they keep it close. Bama is definitely the better team, but I like Auburn to hang around in that one. Next matchup we have Illinois versus Michigan. Going to be an awesome matchup. Illinois eighteen and six. 15 and 9 against the spread. Michigan 18 and 1, 15 and 4 against the spread. Michigan opening up as eight and a half point favorites. 
with the over under at 146 and a half. Illinois, or last 10 meetings, Michigan 6 and 4, 5, 4, and 1 against the spread in those 10 meetings. Illinois just they're 9 and 1 in their last 10. Michigan 9 and 1 in their last 10 as well. Illinois, I believe they're going to be out with their best player. I can't even say his name, Dasanmu. One of the best players in the country is probably going to be out, but I would keep, you know, keep track of that because that could determine a lot. Illinois seven and three against the spread in their last ten. Nine and one in their last ten games. You know, they had an impressive win against um, Indy, seventy-three to fifty-seven without their best player, and a really nice win against Iowa, seventy-nine fifty-seven, and Ohio State. I mean, this is a really great. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm reading Michigan. Michigan having, that was Michigan stats. Illinois against Wisconsin and Nebraska. They were both without their best player, and they won pretty convincingly in those matchups. Michigan 6-1 and against the spread in their last seven, 7-0 seven and in their last seven games, 13-0 and at home. I mean, this is the unbelievable Michigan team. I've been betting with Illinois all season, and they've been awesome for me. I like Illinois plus eight and a half. It's going to be a grinded out kind of game. I like Illinois to keep it close, and they could easily win this game. I mean, they're they're a very tough team, so look for it to be, stay close. I like Illinois plus the points there. Next matchup, we have TCU versus Texas Tech. TCU twelve and ten, eight and thirteen and one against the spread. Texas Tech fifteen and eight, eight and fifteen against the spread. Texas Tech opening up as thirteen and a half point favorites. With the over under at 134. Last 10 meetings head to head, Texas Tech 7 and 3, 6 3 and 1 against the spread. Last 10 meetings over, or last 10 games for TCU, they are 3 and 7 in their last 10. Texas Tech just 5 and 5 in their last 10. TCU 1 and 4 against the spread in their last 5, 3 and 8 in their last 11. Texas Tech 1 and 5 against the spread in their last 6. 13 and 7 in their last 20. Just 1 and 8 against the spread. 1 and 8 against the spread in their last 8 games at home. You know, Texas Tech is definitely a better team than TCU, but Texas Tech just cannot cover the spread. I like TCU plus 13 and a half here. I think Texas Tech definitely wins here, but TCU definitely covers here. It's too many points to give them for a team that can't cover the spread. Last couple matchups, we have the Texas Longhorns versus the Iowa State Cyclones. Texas 14 and 7, 7 13 and 1 against the spread. Iowa State 2 and 18, 8 and 12 against the spread. Texas opening up as 11 and a half point favorites with the over under at 142 and a half. Last 10 meetings head to head, Texas 7 and 3, 7 and 3 against the spread in those 10 meetings. Last 10 meetings overall. For Texas, just four and six in their last ten. Iowa State, zero oh and ten in their last ten. A very bad Iowa State team. Texas, one eight and one against the spread in their last ten games. Texas, thirteen and seven in their last twenty. Seven and three against the spread in their last ten games against Iowa State. Iowa State, two and four against the spread in their last six. You know, they're on a 10-game losing streak right now. Very bad Iowa State team here. I like Texas minus 11 and a half. I know it's a big number, but this is a very bad Iowa State team. I like Texas to run it up on them. Last few matchups, we have Kentucky versus Mississippi. Kentucky 8 and 14, 7, 14 and 1 against the spread. Mississippi 13 and 10, 12 and 11 against the spread. Mississippi opening up as one-point favorites with the over-under at 130. Last 10 meetings, Kentucky 10-0, 6-4 against the spread in those last 10 head-to-head meetings. Last 10 games overall for Kentucky, they are 4-6 in their last 10. Ole Miss, they are 6-4 in their last 10. Kentucky 2-9-1 against the spread in their last 12. 4-8 in their last 12. 6-3 Six and three against the spread in their last nine games against Ole Miss. Five and two or Ole Miss five and two against the spread in their last seven. Five and two in their last seven. Ole Miss teams been playing really good lately. You know, coming off a bad loss to Vanderbilt, but before that, playing pretty well. 
kind of a surprise this season, so they've been playing well. Kentucky, a bad loss to Florida, trying to get into the NCAA tournament and trying to play well. You know, I think they're in a must-win territory. I don't know if they can even get in now, but, you know, I like Ole Miss here. They're just a better team. I think Kentucky's going to play hard. It's going to stay close. You can go either way on this one, but I like Ole Miss in this one, minus one. Last two matchups, we have Wisconsin Badgers. First, the Purdue Boilermakers. Wisconsin, 16-9, and 12-13 and 13 against the spread. Purdue, 16-8, and 12-10-2 and 2 against the spread. Purdue opening up as two-point favorites with the over-under at 129. Last 10 meetings head-to-head, Purdue 6-4, 7-2-1 against the spread in those head-to-head meetings. Last 10 games for Wisconsin, just 4-6 and six in their last 10. Purdue 7-3 and three in their last 10. Wisconsin just 2-4 and four against the spread in their last six. 2-4 and four straight up in their last six. One six and one against the spread in their last eight games against Purdue. So haven't played good against Purdue at all. Purdue nine two and one against the spread in their last twelve. Four and one in their last five. Give me Purdue minus two here. I've been watching Wisconsin all season. They are very overrated. They not playing well. I mean Wisconsin bad loss to Illinois. Bad loss to Iowa, bad loss to Michigan, bad loss to Illinois again. They just can't beat the good teams. Purdue's a good team. Give me Purdue minus two there. Last matchup, we have the Arkansas Razorbacks versus the South Carolina Gamecocks. Arkansas opening up, or Arkansas 19 and 5, 16 and 7 against the spread. South Carolina 6 and 12, 7 and 11 against the spread. Arkansas opening up as 7.5 point favorites with the over under at 155. Last 10 head-to-head meetings, Arkansas 6-4, and 4-5-1 four, four, against the spread. Last 10 games for Arkansas, they are 9-1 and one in their last 10. They are playing really good basketball. South Carolina, on the other hand, just 3-7 and seven in their last 10. Very bad South Carolina team. Arkansas 6-0 and oh against the spread in their last 6. They're on a 6-game winning streak. South Carolina just 1-4 and four against the spread in their last 5. One and six in their last seven. Go ahead and give me Arkansas minus seven and a half. Keep the streak going. Really good Arkansas team. Keep that momentum going into the NCAA tournament as well as the SEC tournament. Those are going to be my picks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already below. Hope you guys have a great day betting on Tuesday. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good luck and stay tuned for my next pick videos. Thank you guys.